Hey everyone, it's Jay and Sean, and we watched a movie. That's yeah, right. We, we saw Jason Bateman get turned into Lego. Oh yeah. It is called uh, Lego, a brickumentary. Yep. Not a documentary. No. A brickumentary. Brickumentary. Uh, it was on Amazon Prime. It still is. Still is. Still is. As far, far as, as we, we know. know. <laughs> yeah. And um, even though I feel like we, in, in recent years, have spent a lot of time in a lot of Lego stores, like Lego stores around the there world. Are, yeah. They're everywhere that we want to be. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I still didn't know all of this about Lego. It's got a long history. It does. Um, so I grew up in a house of girls. We were four sisters and a mama. Thank God. <laughs> uh, someone to make us toast. Um, and at some point, we started asking for Legos. We wanted Legos. I don't really know that we had plans for the Legos, but we thought, this, this stuff looks fun. Well, let's get some Legos up in here. And you know what happened? I bet you didn't get any. We did not get any Legos. Uh, back in the 90s, Legos were still for boys. Yeah, it's very weird. Yes. So we got Barbies. We had like two or three hundred Barbies. You could have just had like a hundred Barbies and some Lego. That's right, probably. Well, because we had so many Barbies, we had repeats of Barbies. Oh. Like we would have two or three of the exact same Barbies. So we called them twins and triplets. <laughs> we were pretty amenable that way. <laughs> but we, like, we might have liked some Lego, but yeah. nobody wanted to take that chance. And there is, like, we, at Toys R Us, the pink Barbie aisle is, I think, almost exactly opposite of the Lego aisle, which yeah, is on is. the boy side of the yep. store. That's right. Do we even need gendered sides of toy stores? We obviously uh, don't. No. And we buy Legos uh, as much for girls as for boys. I'm sure we do. Although we have more nephews. Um, and probably started buying them Legos when they were like four. Which really means you're buying Legos for, for their the dads. dads. <laughs> right? But this documentary taught me that uh, adult fans of Lego are such a thing that they have an acronym, an acronym. Yeah, they do. They, they have shouldn't. an acronym. They shouldn't, but they do. Yeah, yeah. It, it feels dirty, actually, yeah, for some it reason. Does. But anyways, a fall. Yeah. An adult fan of Lego. It does not roll off the tongue. It doesn't. And I'm like, let's just be fans of Lego. And clearly, Lego, at least more recently, this century, has learned that there are adult fans, or I think probably just people who have stayed fans their whole lives, yeah. and they are marketing to them. There are lots of sets that cost hundreds of dollars, oh, yeah. have thousands, thousands of pieces, and are labeled for 16 plus. Yeah. So these they're things are, are not intended for children no. a lot of the time. No, because they're like $800. Yes. That's right. The big Millennium Falcon oh, is $900. That thing's awesome. <laughs> um, so really we did get to experience the history of Lego starting from a toy store that burned down like three times. And uh, you know, he yeah, had like to have been wood, a white man to just toys. keep going yeah. <laughs> that many times. And he's like, no, no, <laughs> the universe is not trying to tell me something. Let's make it in plastic. And they did, and now, you know, it's a huge big thing all over the world. It's been, even though Lego only makes Lego, they have been like the number one or two toy maker for longer than I've been alive. Yeah, that's right. It's confounding to all the other toy makers who have to reinvent themselves <laughs> yes. every year or two with new products, <laughs> with new and products. Lego just keeps building the same thing. Yeah, but they're reinventing themselves too. I mean, it's first true. of all, they did sell, start selling gendered Lego, which was not the way to go. They are sending, they're selling now like purple lilac. The boys get like a yellow box and the girls get a purple yeah. box and they have like cats, vet clinics and mermaid lagoons. You know what? We could all just buy from the same pool of Legos. Um, but Legos also uh, got licensing. 
Yeah, that was Which a huge I ha- deal. It has to have been a big deal, right? Huge. So kids like that, adults like that. I mean, they are licensing for adults with the Star Wars and oh, yeah. uh, lots of Marvel and DC stuff, of course. It's just across the board. So, uh, every license, Harry Potter, mm-hmm. any big thing that was a movie mm-hmm. is now Lego. Yeah, and even quite a bit of little things. Yes, it's true. <laughs> Our sets. You could get the set from Friends. You could get the set from The Simpsons. You can get the set from Doctor Who. Uh, gosh, I'm sure it's nearly interminable. <laughs> and they just keep pumping them out. New stuff, absolutely. Um, but they also, like, when you were little, they had, like, some city kind of stuff. Yeah, so there were there was city, there was space, <laughs> there was medieval, so castles. But, like, it was all, like, the castle, first castle I had was yellow. Mm-hmm. The first fire station I had, also yellow. <laughs> So oh, they were pretty okay. limited in uh-huh. what they were doing at that time. Mm-hmm. Space was generally blue and gray, okay. but you'd have like six colors. <laughs> okay. Uh, now they have everything. And now you, you, know, you buy a kit with, and you're going to make this set, and they have pieces that can only really be used in this one set. And there's so many unique creations. There's a whole architecture series, which I think is fascinating. There's like Technic stuff. Yeah. You could build robots. We've bought stuff to like build droids and then you hook them up to your phone and they yeah, move right. and it's have functionality. Customizable and the part of, there's part of this documentary about how Lego is not, has really succeeded because it didn't fight the customization and people mm-hmm. like hacking these to see what they could make them do. Yeah. Lego was on board with that. And there's yes. huge conventions of people just showing off their crazy Lego creations mm-hmm. That Lego's actually scouting it. <laughs> yeah, that's for right. Their they creative will team. take those people as designers, and then they have like a competition every year where you can submit your own unique designs, and people vote on them, and then they'll actually go into production. They'll make the which winner really a cool. set, and the, yeah. the designer gets a cut of the yeah, sales from that, hello. which is really cool. Yes, it is. So that I think is a brilliant move. Is uh, to really learn from your own fan base and take the product in the direction that they are already wanting to go in it. Especially this product, Mm -hmm. which is the whole point of Lego is to make amazing things out of it. Yes. And they've got, like we said, a whole range of amazing things, things that move, they've got motors. We bought a set recently for a nephew where you like scan it with your phone and you can see haunted ghosts. Oh, that's and right. Yeah. So obviously there's no ghosts in the thing you build, but when you scan it, it becomes haunted. Like, hello, Lego. That's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. They're always introducing new stuff. And it's keeping a lot of kids busy and a lot of parents busy and just a lot of guys in their basements busy. Yes. Well, it's fun. Yes. It's fun to build. It's fun. And then you have a thing you can play with. And then when you get tired of that thing, you can break it up and rebuild the same thing or build a different thing. That's right. And I mean, that's kind of what I thought it was as a kid. Uh, It was just, here's a pile of bricks. Don't step on them. Build to your (laughs) heart's delight. And now I see so many things that are very specific and lots of people love just being able to like get in their Zen place and follow some instructions. Um, But it is heartening to see those conventions where people are just going crazy with their own thing. And like lots of like, I'll call them like mousetrap the board game if you know what that is, but it's like the marble that does this. Like they're going all out and it's very cool to see. But we saw people making movies out of it, people making art out of it. Yeah, that's right. I mean, we have been to an museum exhibition. Yeah. The Um, Art of the Brick. That's right. And that was at Science and Technology Museum. Yeah, so it's touring, obviously, Mm -hmm. and maybe it'll come to your town. Maybe it will. Uh, But yeah, Legos are everywhere. Yeah, they are. Um, They're quite ubiquitous. uh, And people are loving them. And Lego clearly has done a good job responding to those market wants and needs and desires. Yeah, they have, I think, and they've learned from Mm -hmm. some mistakes Mm -hmm. as this documentary really does go into. It's not like a hard hitting documentary. Not at all. It's almost like an ad for Lego, but. (laughs) Yes, it for sure is. Even Jason Bateman gets melted down to a little minifig. 
and uh, yeah, they're just walking through toy stores and the factory and. But it's still interesting, it's and I fun. didn't really know about this world of these conventions, and that and the is the acronyms. Yeah, the <laughs> acronyms. I had no yes. idea. Right. So yeah, what what are you guys building? What are people building? Clearly, everybody is building something. What's the biggest set you've done? What's the most expensive set you've done? What's your favorite set? And are you only a set person, or do you like design your own stuff? I know Sean's probably most recent Lego build was the uh, Beatles. Oh, the yellow submarine, yes. that's right. I did get that for <laughs> a birthday or something, and yeah. it's a really cool set. And you have to rebuild it every time the nephews visit. I do, because they, they take it apart. Yeah. But that's a good but thing about Lego. But that is the glory of Lego. They can yes. take it apart, I'll have to find all the pieces <laughs> and put them where they belong, yeah. but whatever, like they have fun with it. Yes. They do. They like to build and rebuild and it is, uh, I think, a nice thing to encourage in all children of all genders if yes. they show interest. I think it does. Uh, it is a good activity. Mm -hmm. This is a toy that will get you thinking. Yeah. And that's a big deal. We don't have enough of that. That's right. So just like if you're trying to hide broccoli and casseroles, this is a cool STEM toy that seems like just a toy toy. Yeah. And it's Lego. Everyone loves Lego. <laughs> Everyone does. That's right. You can get a Ghostbuster set. <laughs> I mean, And that is the genius of the license, <laughs> which was not around when I was a kid. Yeah. Is, yeah, whatever your son or daughter or niece or nephew or whoever, the kid whatever down the street, into. whatever they're into, you can probably find it. Yes. And what I think is funny is uh, that they've now licensed their own movies so now you could get stuff from the Lego movie and the Lego movie sequel and the Lego Batman movie anyways it was a fun documentary I think yeah. uh, you know if you like Lego you're gonna like watching this thing yes and I don't even like Lego because nobody ever let me play with it you still like it though sure I think well we even had the Lego dimensions what that what's that yeah the Lego game? dimensions video game that's yeah, right that's right so we got a whole bunch of Lego stuff going on with that. Yeah. That was nice. That was a cool thing. I mean, cool the, thing. that era has passed. They don't have those toy plus game things anymore because they broke the bank, I think <laughs> is why. <laughs> and then, they just had all the loser toys sitting on the shelves. Oh. Yeah. Well, you didn't need them all. There were only certain ones that you needed. Like you needed Wonder Woman, obviously. <laughs> but you didn't need all the Lord of the Rings guys. But you still got them. No, I didn't get all the Lord of the oh. Rings guys. That's how little you needed them. I didn't okay. even try and get those guys. And you buy everything. I did buy everything. Well, I, I buy addicted. everything. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Anyways, it's a cool documentary to check out. It's great for family viewing too. And uh, yeah, we found that one on Amazon Prime. So check it out. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye. Bye.